Hey all YouTube, so today uh, we're at a house here on a Friday. We are going to look at some water fed pole techniques. Um, they got asked a couple times just to show what I do and hopefully this can be related to uh, commercial accounts as well. Let's take a look. Alrighty, so setup wise we have our zero up here here. I'm just going through the DI tank because we have good levels here. Um, we'll test every time I like to do just test it. Sometimes I'll let it just run for just a second here. Make sure our levels are good. Sitting at all zeros. It is a cold morning here. We're sitting at about right at 30 degrees right now. We're in the sun, so we'll be okay. Today, what we're gonna use is the, oh, let me get this plugged in here. That's a nice little quick connect right there. Today what we're gonna use is the Zero Ultimate High Mod Carbon Fiber Pole with a boar's hair brush. Get this Zero Pier tubing here unraveled. It's a some fresh tubing here. I need to add some tubing on. So we got that rinse bar there working quite nicely. Definitely need good pressure for that to work well. We're using the bore hair here because um, I can see that we're going to need an angle change on here. So a real nice feature here is if you're doing something, especially over there, you kind of almost want like a, kind of what you think with a squeegee, you want like a 10 degree angle with it. So we're going to change that angle right there. This zero pier pole is awesome. It is so easy to move in and out. Your fingers will not get pinched or anything. Okay, so we're gonna clean those frames first. When you first use boar hair, it really grabs on. You'll feel it a lot different than like nylon. It's harder to just nylon you can just drift it across like this really easily. Boars here though, you're gonna feel that hold on. So, we're gonna work the top. I like to work the corners here, like so. Work that top really well. Come down to the bottom, work the bottom, work the sides. Now if this was a commercial window, you'd box it out, right? And then we're gonna work the middle there. Boars here, you really feel it grabbing on there. Now with this rinse bar, it is rinsing the whole time, but I like to just give a little extra rinse there. And you see that rinse, I mean, it just cascades down perfectly. So once again, we're gonna work that top. I like to work those corners. That's usually what's missed with water fed pole. The very corner of the window, okay. We're gonna work the sides again, work this left side, then we're gonna work the middle. Getting a very nice cascade here. Oh, just perfect. Okay. I know we have a high one over here in this corner. Don't know if we're gonna get there though, but like think about this if you have bushes and you don't even want to go back there, just do this. Work that frame. This is a really nice thing about water fed pole. You can just get around stuff easier. You don't got to worry about going into bushes, getting pricked by rose bushes or anything. Okay guys, well that kind of explains technique wise of what I like to do with water fed pole. This is a great option here. So we have the rinse bar here working. If you guys have any questions, comment below. 
and I'll help you guys out as much as possible. But for now, that's it. And we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.